Hey guys, how are you? It's Robin here with Oracle Rising. So guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about social anxiety. So social anxiety, it can just be a product of who you are as a person. You know, crowds can be overwhelming sometimes. Like I went out with, for lunch with friends yesterday and it got so loud in the restaurant. Like I, I would just started to feel overwhelmed. So I pretty much left. Um, because it was packed and there's too many people talking and I'm an empath so I found that really 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 difficult so um, I wrote an article years ago called not necessarily a social butterfly and people have all kinds of reasons for not wanting to go out but I think and this can sometimes happen on your ascension path you know because people are not vibing with you on the same level anymore but um, so I wrote this article and it starts off with many people struggle with social anxiety and this can have a, a causal effect on attending events. Being one of those people myself, I super wanted to talk about how to overcome these pesky nerves and actually get yourself out of the house. I'm only addressing low level anxiety here. Like honestly, some people have agoraphobia and other kinds of phobias. So. I wouldn't say that this article is covering that. Um, so having a social life is so important. Without one, what else is there really? You know, going from work to home and work again with the occasional grocery run, and it just doesn't feel like it's enough. So granted, we all have those periods of withdrawal where we need to recoup and recharge batteries, definitely. But as a long-term lifestyle choice, being a recluse leaves a little to be desired. The most important thing for me is to recognize the barrage of excuses as they arrive and they're unbidden in my mind to erode the desire to get out and about. And, and that's, you know, because I have low level anxiety and because I'm an empath. So I start to put up road roadblocks for myself before I can even leave the house. So the second most important thing to be aware of to be aware that people are probably looking forward to seeing you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been invited out in the first place. Thirdly, it's almost always easier to adapt to the situation once you get there. So I put seven tips here um, that I find really work for me. To plan my outfit in advance. Have it ironed and ready to wear and then hang it in view, basically as a reminder of how fabulous I'm going to look while I'm wearing it. Have a friend pick you up or offer to pick a friend up on the way. Look forward to conversing with a specific person at that event. Get excited about the meal if one is being served. Plan talking points just in case you're a freezer type of person. You know what I mean? You just clam up, you just don't know what to say. It's okay to make notes, you guys, to survive events and tell myself it's okay to leave early if I'm not enjoying myself. Like I left early yesterday, I was the first person to leave and that's because I just found the noise of all the talking um, is like bouncing off the walls and I was starting to feel really confused. So I was like, oh you guys, I just have to go let my dog out, you know, so I'll see you guys another time, thanks so much, uh, you know, blah, 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 and then I left. So be okay with just being there and hanging out, enjoying the ambiance for a while. There's absolutely no need for you to have to be the talk show host when you go out to an event. You know, it's okay to sit there and just sort of absorb. It's okay to tell people, you know, I feel really nervous to talking in front of a lot of people. And maybe, you know, somebody can kind of hang out with you and just like be there, you know, so you don't have to feel like you're on the spot or whatever. Okay, so um, so for some reason, your in-person friend list is ridiculously short and the invites have dribbled down from party all the time to obligatory family functions. If it's, it's most definitely a mandatory thing to get yourself off the couch, step away from the remote and start experiencing life outside the four walls of your, ho your home. Budget does not have to be an issue either. Going for walks in the park or having coffee at a friend's place is free, you know, and then there's not that whole social anxiety of going out in public to a restaurant or, you know, a club or whatever. 
If you do have some cash to put towards a bigger and better social life, find websites and apps that organize events for people who share similar interests. A really great one is Meetup. So that's actually where I went yesterday. I belong to a Meetup group and we meet for lunch once a month. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't get out like basically at all. Or do some volunteering. It's a guarantee that some worthy cause somewhere needs whatever skills you have to offer. Love cats? Go scoop litter boxes at a cat shelter or designate yourself an official kitty snuggler and treat giver. Um, like our local cat rescues, particularly the Humane Society, they have people that go in and just snuggle cats. They sit in a rocking chair and snuggle cats and I think that's so cool. Um, care about people on the streets? You can find a soup kitchen or a food bank where you can help out the homeless. Side benefit of volunteering, other than knowing you, my friend, or a good person, is you get to work alongside other people who share your interests and then suddenly you have a double whammy of goodness out of the house, helping out, helping out, meeting people, triple whammy, okay, right? I mean, it just sort of builds up and you can connect with people like that. Um, and maybe while you're out volunteering, other opportunities will come up and that'll be sort of a domino effect. You know, you might find yourself helping to organize a fundraiser or branching off into a different worthy cause, thereby hugely increasing your social exposure. And let's get back to meetup and similar groups you might stumble across. If being a newbie is a frazzle maker, keep in mind that everyone in the group had a first time attending. So it's as easy as showing up and saying, hey, it's my first time. And the group will sh be sure to make you right at home, you know? And you know what, there's even groups for, like if you feel introverted and stuff like that, like at least in my city, there's a group for people who are introverted and there's, you know, people that experience social anxiety. There's lots of reasons why people don't want to go out, you know, but there's there's always a way to, um, you know, get around that. And if you really just don't want to go out in public, you know, you can always FaceTime with people um, or have your friends over to your house. Um, you know, there's, there's de definitely many, many ways to connect you guys. It's so important. Um, so I, I really just think it's important it's it's part of our lives to interact with other people and it can be very fulfilling it can be exhausting for some people especially if you're an introvert or an empath or you know social anxiety there's so many things that keep people from um, experiencing a social life you know um, like my grandmother she was like before she passed away she really had a hard time walking so everybody just went to visit her and that was fine because you know that was totally cool everybody understood she couldn't do stairs and stuff like that so she just she really felt like really conspicuous being in other people's houses because I had stairs in my house at that time um, so just remember you guys that socializing is not a competition and having 2,500 Facebook friends doesn't get you a gold star or anything. However, having a couple close and trusted pals and the option to get out of the house a time or two a month can make all the difference in the world and will definitely enhance your daily grind. So, and that's like one of the beautiful things about having a dog for me is because I'm, I'm getting out of the house to walk her constantly. So I find that a real blessing and I, I don't feel so cooped up. And you know, maybe they're, you're the kind of person that doesn't feel cooped up staying in the house. But this is for people that really just want to experience a bit more of a social life, um, get out and feel connected with other people. And I think that's fantastic, you guys. So um, I hope this was a helpful, interesting um, piece that I wrote and maybe help you guys connect with people. And if you're here, just know that I really totally get why you may not want to go outside and interact with people. Like peopling can be a bit of a chore sometimes. So. Um, guys, um, let me know what you think down below in the comments and let me know your struggles and let's all really be here to support each other and take care of yourselves. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.